Hey everybody, welcome, welcome. So uh, in this tutorial, which is going to be a little bit shorter, I want to show you a very cool, fascinating uh, Dash component, which is called Before After. This was recently created by Emil Erickson, and it's cool because it's based on the on the React Before and After um, uh, slider that um, is built with JavaScript, I think. And so this one is with Python. And it, it can add a really nice element um, to your dashboard app if you want to sell a product or you want to sell a service. The user can see the before and after of, of that product or service. Now, this is part of the Dash extensions library 0047. So you would have to um, down install this library. This library exists outside of the uh, Dash main documentation. So as you know, Dash has all the core components like the checklist, the drop down, the graph, several components that I've talked about in previous videos. Um, but there are also, outside of this, um, you have these libraries here, uh, components. So um, Emil created um, some components here that are very, very useful. And we'll go over some of these components in the future. Um, to, to enhance your app, to, to add a, a lot more uh, great functionality to your dashboard app in, 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 uh, with Dash Plotly. And one of the components is the before after, which you can see an example here and a brief explanation. So let's see how we do that. Um, let's go into our GitHub. Obviously, if you want to download the code, go into my, all, these are all the components I've talked about in previous tutorials. Just go into the before and after. And here is the code. Make sure that any of the um, uh, uh, images that we use are in the assets folder. It has to be spelled correctly and it has to be in the same folder where the, the before after .py file exists in the assets and then you can put here all your pictures. Okay, this is important. All right, so let's go into the code and take a look at it. Uh, what we see here is obviously we're importing Dash, HTML, import, we're importing the before and after component from the Dash um, extensions. Make sure to install Dash extensions um, 0.047 or higher. And I'm using Bootstrap just to um, make the layout a bit nicer and easier. Um, and so just a container where we're creating the rows, the columns. Here is just the first sentence, the title, before, after, dash component that you can see here, the very uh, uh, title at the top. And then I'm, I'm in each um, column component, I'm building the uh, uh, subtitle and then the before and after. So this is the meat of it. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to know. Um, it's the before and after component that we imported here. So we use this, and then we define the before. We assign the JPG or, or, or the PNG. Also, you can put JPEG, uh, you can put GIFF, you can put several different um, extent, um, uh, image types, uh, but it has to come from the assets folder. You mark the before, you assign the after, right? So Beirut uh, 1 and Beirut 2, which means and then you have this. This is Beirut 1, like before the explosion a few months ago because of the fertilizers. And this is Beirut 2, right here after the explosion. Before and after. Um, and you can define the width if you want. You can define the height, uh, in which I define everything the same, right? And you can define the default progress. Default progress here of 0.5 is, is where the white line is going to be at the beginning. If I put 0 0.2, let's see here, I'll reload the app. You see that here, this is default 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Here you can see 0 0.2. Let's see it again. You see 0 0.2 and then all the rest are 0 0.5 right in the middle. All right. So that's uh, the default thing. And then I'm doing the same thing here exactly. I'm, I'm importing, I'm using different pictures in uh, Reef Run, Reef 2, and this before after component. And I'm not defining the default progress. So by default, it's going to be 0 0.5. If you don't define it, it'll be 0 0.5. Um, here you have the, the sources of every image. If you want to take a look at them and um, and see where they come from. So uh, that's pretty much it. This is the component. It can be really nice, again, if you're trying to sell a product or a service or you're doing some 
data analysis or machine learning for a certain company and you just want to give the, the user or your colleague or your boss an opportunity to see like a before and after image. Um, it's just two static images before and after. You can do it however you want. You can, if you do satellite imagery or you're in the conservation field or you're in chemistry, this I kind of like how you put methane and two molecules of, um, of um, oxygen Actually, if you mix them together, it creates uh, carbon dioxide and two molecules of water. So that's pretty cool. I learned that for this app. Um, and this is just a fertilized egg of a Siona. Siona, if you don't know what it is, because I didn't know what it is, it's a sea squirt. And this is a fer an egg before it's fertilized, and this is the egg after it is fertilized. So a lot of fertilization things going on in there. And, and I will see this. Um, so that's it. That's a component. Um, there you have it. Uh, if you want to learn more about the other components, you can go into my uh, playlist in YouTube. I have the main YouTube uh, playlist tab. You can see all the playlists that I have. One of them is the dash components. Click on that. And I will add this soon right here to number one. So you can see the, the before and after, but you can see all the other components I talk about. I will try to go over a few other components that Emil um, um, has created here under his um, uh, library. They're really, they're really strong. They're really powerful. So I want to talk about them. And I'll, I'll continue talking in future videos about other components uh, here within Dash Core Components. If you are interested, if you're curious about a certain component and you want me to talk about it, let me know right in the comments below the video uh, what component you would like me to talk about. And I'll definitely could take that into consideration when I make uh, my, my next um, tutorial on a component because I want to create videos that, that eventually help you um, create nicer dashboards and maybe even uh, get a job with this with this cool library. Hope you enjoyed. I hope you benefited. Um, get some rest. Don't be in front of the computer all day, every day. Get up, stretch. You know, put your um, um, stand up straight. Um, meditate a little bit and spend some family time and step away from the computer so you get some you get some rest, especially for your eyes. Um, that's it, folks. I hope to see you um, next week. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.